In our Consumer Watch tonight, if you've received a phone call from someone saying you're pre-qualified for student loan forgiveness, it's probably a scam. And you are far from the only person who has received these calls. Our own Felicity Boss breaks down the calls and what to do if you get one. People across the Chippewa Valley, including the staff here at WQW, have received a voicemail saying they're pre-qualified for student loan forgiveness. And I'm actually just doing a follow-up call for you regarding your public student loans. Um, I do see here that we still have you pre-qualified for the student loan forgiveness program. The call was even received by a WQW staff member who has no student loans. And the director of investigations for the Better Business Bureau, Lisa Schiller, says there are a lot of red flags to this call. First of all, the fact that they called on the phone. I mean, if you are eligible for a, a student loan forgiveness, a program of any sort, you're not going to get a phone call from some ident unidentifiable person. And while student loan forgiveness does exist, Schiller says those programs are through the federal government. You have to apply for it and very few people qualify. On top of that, the vagueness of who it is that's calling is a huge red flag. Schiller says when people receive calls like these, they're likely not just seeking money, but your identity. They'll want your name. They'll probably ask for bank account information, social security information, address, phone number, who knows. With just a minimal amount of information, um, you would be surprised at how much uh, scammers can, can do with that information. And at the Eau Claire Police Department, scam calls like these are far from new. The best thing in this these kind of situations is just to get off the phone as soon as possible. The longer somebody keeps you on the phone, the more they might convince you to give them um, money, uh, password, something like that. Um, these calls are, are almost always fake. Uh, people aren't going to be calling you with these kind of offers. So the sooner you can get off the phone, the better. And unfortunately, Officer Josh Miller says there is not a whole lot they can do for those who fall victim to these types of scams. The, the chances of recovering any kind of money and actually prosecuting someone are few and far between. Now, if you received a call about student loans, Schiller and Officer Miller say to call the institution your loan is through and see if the call you received is legitimate. All right, thanks, Felicity. Now, the Better Business Bureau does have a scam tracker where you can report any scam calls that you receive. We'll have a link to that tracker on our website, wqow.com.